Hello, my name is Dr. Brett Schlifka. I'm a neurosurgeon in West Palm Beach, Florida with a group named Palm Beach Neurosurgery. We're going to be talking about disorders of the sacroiliac joint and treatment of sacroiliac joint dysfunction. The sacroiliac joint is a joint that connects the pelvic bones to the sacrum, which is the uh, main bone below, above the level of the tailbone. The sacroiliac joint uh, transfers load from the upper part of the body and spine to the legs. The SI joint does not move very much. Uh, it moves more in women because of their childbearing uh, need uh, and moves less in men. However, in some conditions that cause even increased laxity of the joint, that can cause more pain. The causes of uh, sacroiliac joint or SI joint pain can be numerous. Uh, the main causes are prior lumbar fusion, uh, trauma, uh, and uh, arthritis. Sacroiliac joint uh, pain is uh, fairly common. It can affect 15 to 30 percent of the patient population. Uh, it also can affect up to approximately 40 percent of the patient population who have had lumbar spinal fusion surgery. Some symptoms including pain would be also the uh, reluctancy to sit on that affected side. People lean toward the opposite side to take load off that joint. They complain of difficulty getting out of the chair, uh, laying down, but when they get up and moving that sort of uh, relieves some of the pain. Sacroiliac joint pain is diagnosed on physical examination with several provocative maneuvers that we do in the office, as well as referral to uh, interventional uh, pain management for uh, diagnostic injections to confirm the diagnosis. A diagnostic injection is where the pain management specialist inserts a needle into the joint and injects a small amount of numbing medicine to relieve the pain. If the pain is totally uh, or greatly relieved, that is a positive finding that the sacroiliac joint is the root cause. Once we diagnose patients with sacroiliac joint dysfunction or pain, the treatment options include non-operative versus operative. The non-operative treatment options would include rest, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication, physical therapy, chiropractic manipulation. For patients who have not responded long-term to non-operative options, minimally invasive sacroiliac joint fusion surgery can be a very good treatment option. It is a less invasive, less destructive surgery to fuse the joint and alleviate pain. The iFuse procedure to fuse the sacroiliac joint takes under an hour. Patients can return to everyday function within four to six weeks. I would tell patients considering sacroiliac joint fusion that the minimally invasive surgery with iFuse is an excellent option. It offers them lower risk and a quicker recovery and a faster return to function. My patients who have uh, been diagnosed and treated for their sacroiliac joint pain have gone back to enjoying the things that they've normally uh, enjoyed prior to their pain. Some are playing golf, boating, swimming, biking. They enjoy numerous activities that they hadn't enjoy enjoyed in the past. If you think you have sacroiliac joint pain, please call our office, visit our website. In addition, go to sibone.com for further information.